It's Friday, October 7th, and I want to tell you about a piece of very good news. And this good news was generated by the pandemic. Imagine that. This is a good idea that has come about because of the pandemic. Now, that seems hard to believe that anything good could have come out of that pandemic. But this is what I'm going to talk about. It's the four-day work week. Hundreds of companies in this country are testing out the four-day work week. Imagine that. Five days pay for four days work. And that may become the standard in a couple of years. Because what these companies have found out is with the four-day work week, and you're still getting the same amount of pay, And so, they're testing out this four-day work week, and it has been very successful. And what has happened is that the level of employee productivity has risen. So, people are producing more in the four days than they were producing in the five days. And so, many, many companies are very happy with that situation. And I can agree with them, because when you work four days a week, you have an extra day to take care of things. The pressure is basically off. There are many things you can do with that fifth day. So we have almost 200 companies and thousands of employees testing out this new work methodology. And these are companies all around the nation, maybe even all around the globe. Now, you know, this is not a new idea. In the 1970s, there was a movement toward the four-day work. And that was very exciting for a couple of months, but it died out. And I guess it died out because businesses couldn't envision what has happened over the past 60 or 70 years, you see. Because I think a lot of this is related to technology. A lot of this enables many people to do work from home because they have the technology to do it. They're not locked into a typewriter or something like that, you see. With technology, you can be anywhere, anytime. You have your mobile phone, you have everything at your disposal that will help you to do your job. So when they thought about this in the 1970s, that situation really didn't exist. And while this is a very exciting idea, a four-day work week, it's an extremely exciting idea. And I can tell you that I lived through a period in my work life where I worked only four days a week. That was in the last five or six years before retirement. I had had it with an eight-hour day and a five-day week, so I decided that I was going to work four days, and the company had no problem with that. And I was able to do my job. Of course, I didn't get my full salary. I only got four days' worth of pay, but that was okay, because at that point in time, I was getting ready to retire, and so, you know, I had a fifth day off, and I could golf and do whatever I wanted to do. So I was a lucky one. I've done this, and I tell you, it's a big thing. And everybody's excited about this four-day work. And I was very excited when I started reading and listening to this article, right? But as I'm going through all of this, I am wondering, who really can work four days a week? There are large groups of people that can't work four days a week. Can the garbage men work four days a week and do everything that they have to do? Can people on construction sites work four days a week? I guess they could, but in four days they're not going to produce what they would produce in five days. That's for sure. There are many jobs where you really can't work four days a week. Or if you're working four days a week, you will have to increase the size of the workforce. 
And I don't know that there's many companies that could really, really afford to do that. So when I look at this thing and I hear all these people cheering about the four-day work, I'm happy for them. I believe that that's a great idea. If you can get a job and you can work four days a week and get five days pay and do twice as much or, or a third more as much, but that will not work for many people. That will not work for many organizations. There are different kinds of jobs that you can't do in four days a week. You can't increase the productivity of the workforce that's cleaning the building, for instance. You know, they have to be on the job. The janitors and the electricians and the plumbers and those kinds of people, they could choose to work four days a week, but they're not going to make the same amount of money. So while this is good for many, it's not so good for others. So I probably, when I started listening to this thing, was very excited. But as I thought about it, I recognized the fact that it's probably impractical to consider that everybody could work a four-day. And imagine if you're working for a company that has a five-day week schedule and you find out that there's another competing company that will allow you to work four days for the same amount of money. It's going to be a big transition in the workforce. There'll be many people looking for jobs where they could work four days a week. So what I thought was a great idea in the beginning maybe will fade a little bit over time when we find out that all the gaps haven't been filled in. But I think if you can work four days a week and get five days pay, you should grab it and run with it and hang on to it as long as you can. Of course, it's an innovation that deserves to be tried. And maybe, maybe they'll find out that they can hire more people and do more work. So I think we have to leave it up in the air, and I think these companies that are doing it right now are probably doing it correctly, and it's probably been very successful, and they will continue to do it. But recognize the fact that it will not apply to every single job in this country. It will not apply in many areas. My dentist only works three days, but does it matter? You know, it doesn't matter. He makes enough in three days to take care of his staff and everything. So I guess it really all depends on the business you're in and the type of work that you do as to whether you could work four days versus five days versus three days, etc. So don't get too excited about this thing like I was so excited in the very beginning. There are pitfalls that have to be overcome. But I think it's a great start, and I would love to see it happen for everybody. Take care. Take care. Have a great day. See you in the morning.